Hey guys, this is Happy Rod Reviews. So when your hands are dirty, especially when you are in the middle of washing the dishes or when you are cutting your meat, you got your hand all dirty and everything, and you're already rinsing your hand in the water, right? You do not want to touch anything else. Like for example, touching this right here to getting more soap out of here, but it will get this thing dirty and then things will get all over the place. So that is one reason I want to present to you my newest and latest Foma Touchless Soap Dispenser. That is what you see right over here guys. Now let me emphasize this strongly. You do not want to buy these cheap ones. This is the cheap one that I bought at first. I thought it was going to save me some money. This only costs about 10 or 15 bucks or so. But anyways guys, so many things that I do not like about this. First of all, sensors doesn't even work that well. A lot of time, like four out of five times when you put your hand here, the soap don't even come out. And when it does come out, it comes out like bubbly and come out air. No soap comes out at all. And the design, battery is located down here. So water can so easily get in there, especially when you're leaving, leaving it next to the sink like this. And lastly, guys, this top right here, it is dead fixed on top right here. And as you can see, over time, it gets disgusting right here so i can't even remove this to you know clean it or anything like that so it looks disgusting and this has been sitting by the trash can for a very long time that my wife do not want to throw away because she don't want to waste ten dollars so guys if you just make the right decision the first time and get a good one you will not have to hate yourself hate your decision to get another one and you might just end up spending more money so i recommend this former touchless soap dispenser so much over that cheap one that i just showed you anyway take a look at this guys very very sensitive all you have to do is put your hand in front of it and bam now this is not just dispensing you know the regular soap this is foam soap and it feels really good and a really good thing i like about it is it saves you a lot of soap guys so it doesn't use as much soap as you were to directly put soap in there like the previous one i showed you like these right here this use direct soap that you put in there but this one right here, mix soap together with water to make this foam. At the same time, it is still good enough for you to clean, wash your hands, and wash the dishes or sanitize your hands, kits, whatever you want. You can put it in the kitchen, you can have it in the restroom, you can have it in your office, or pretty much the laundry room. Anywhere you have a sink or want to sanitize your hand, you can put this there. And it also comes in two separate colors, guys. One is white and the other is graphite metallic right here, which looks really, really nice as it blends in with my house very well. So depending on what kind of color you have in your kitchen or bathroom, then you can pick the color that best fits for you. But I love this color right here. I'm going to use the white one in my bathroom since it matches more with the bathroom. Now, let me go ahead and go over all the features that this soap dispenser have. All right, so here it is up close. It is pretty light, weighing only at 0.4 pounds. Dimension-wise, it is pretty compact size as well. It's not too big and not too small, which makes it really nice. It doesn't look bulky when you put it by your sink. It looks really nice and it blends in with pretty much any atmosphere or any environment that you have so the dimension is about 3.1 inches by 4.1 inches and by 6.2 inches from top to bottom now as it is on top there's really only one touch button control it's not really a button it's just a touch control as you can see on top right here the power button so currently it is on right now so to power it off simply put your hand on top of the power button for about six seconds and you see that red light blinking, meaning it is currently off right now. So nothing will happen when you put your hand in front of the sensors, right? To power it back on, all you have to do is put your finger on the power button for about six seconds. Now you see that green light blink, that means it is currently on. So when the red light blinks, it is off. Green light blinks, it is currently on. Now, another thing to control the different settings of how much soap you want to come out of here, simply touch the power button once quickly. And as you can see, the green light blinked twice. Touch it once more. Green light blinks three times. Now press it once more. Now light blinks two, press it once more. It blinks one time. So one time it dispenses the least amount of soap. Two times is level two, it dispenses a little more soap. And when it blinks three times, it dispenses the most amount of soap. So let me go ahead and show you how much soap come out when it is on level one. So that's one, let's change it to level two. Now change it to level three. So as you can see, clearly three different levels. 
Let me go ahead and wash this off and show you how good this actually works, guys. Now the soap that I currently use right now is the Dawn soap. It's the blue version. And the way you mix this is really just put 20% soap and 80% water. I really just eyeballed it. I did not do any kind of measurement. And it's pretty easy for you to do and it comes out perfectly. All right, so here's a box shipped and delivered into us. And inside of this box, you get the uh, Foma soap dispenser along with the instructional manual. Other than that, pretty much it. So let me go ahead and show you how to actually take this apart and mix your soap and water together and how easy it is. So all you have to do is twist this counterclockwise and it come off right like that, guys. And they do have the uh, little sheet of paper right here to show you exactly how to use this product, how to change the different amount of soap and how to mix the soap as well. Now, once you got this open up, this is where the battery goes right here. So simply press this button to open the cover. And inside of here is where you put four batteries in there. Now you will have to get your own batteries to put in here. And once you have all the batteries in there, all you have to do is put this cover back, snap it in place. Now for the bottom part, all you have to do is first of all, make sure you take this piece off right here. Now you are ready to add your soap. So what I'm gonna do is again, guys, I did not measure anything. What I'm gonna do is just pretty much eyeball this. And again, the soap I'm using right now is called Dawn Platinum, the uh, blue color version. All right. So as you can see right there, I barely have any soap in there, but this is just going to last us a very long time, guys. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add some water in there. Just like that guys, so that looked like 20% soap and 80% water to my eyes. And put this piece of cover back. Put your finger on here, cover the hole. Mix it up a little bit. All right, take a quick look on top. If any water spill out, go ahead and wipe it off. Now, Add this back, make sure this little tube go back into the hole, and then turn clockwise, bam, you hear that little snap, and you are done guys, and do not be deceived, this may look like a little bit right here, but this will last you for a very long time, it lasts a much longer time than if you were to use water or soap alone. Perfect guys. Now I've already primed mine. So the first time you use it, you might have to prime it about three to six times, meaning you have to put your finger right here. One, two, three times until you get this nice looking soap right here. The first three times, it needs to get air and all the water out the first time. But after the air gets out, you will get this perfectly looking foam soap right here, guys. And again, look at it guys. You do not see any water or soap you know going down because it is barely using any soap or water at all i don't know how they do it but this is pretty awesome guys you will save a lot of soap using this product right here and at the same time this is so high quality it looks really really classy and look really luxurious in your house at the same time now it also come with this pretty uh, drop off feature pretty cool look at this so if i were to Put it there, quickly let it go, it stops immediately as you can see right there. But I really don't use that feature much because I already have the setting to the amount of soap that I want. Now you can absolutely fill this entire bottle up to the maximum level. The most important thing you need to keep in mind is to always keep the ratio four to one, meaning only 20% soap and 80% water and you are ready to go. Now to one last but very cool feature I wanna show you guys is, let's say if you have a lot of kids, they just came from outside, their hands are all dirty with dirt or whatever they've been playing with, or if you just happen to need an extremely large amount of soap to come out of this soap dispenser, and at the same time, you don't want to have to leave your hand under the sensor all the time, all you have to do is tap constantly on the power button and soap will come out as long as you continue to tap the power button. Check this out, guys. So you can just pretty much hold this up and dispense soap to your kid's hand or to wherever you want. Tap it nonstop and soap will come out nonstop as you can see right there, guys. Even after all of this soap is dispensed, the water and soap mark barely move anywhere, which is awesome.
Now when it comes to cleaning it, it is super easy. Let's say you get a little soap or a little water that splash on there. This is IPX rated, so it is a little bit water resistant. You don't want to run water on it or throw it in the pool. It's not gonna survive those, but it is water resistant to you know splash and stuff like that. So when you want to clean it, all you have to do is turn it off by holding your finger on here for about six seconds again, and that light comes on, meaning there will be no more soap dispensing. This will allow you to Clean this however way you want or refill your soap when you are out of soap. But guys, I've been using this as halfway only and I've been using it nonstop every single day and it has not go down much at all guys. And that is really a good way to don't have to change the soap every few weeks or so from my previously one, especially this one right here. I had to change this like every one to two weeks because it was using purely 100% soap coming out and every time I pump it you know sometimes come out a little bit sometimes come out a lot but this one right here consistently comes out with the exact amount that you set it to so with all that being said i love this new product that i have right here again this is the foma touchless soap dispenser i will leave the link to it in the description box down below feel free to check it out thanks everybody for watching and i will see you all in the next video